hello friends uh, so today we are going to see the second round questions basically this is kind of techno managerial the person was a kind of manager or uh, technical managers the intro was very nice uh, all the questions i'm going to share with you what type of question they have asked so if you are new to this channel and uh, directly jumping to this video i would request you please watch previous video because in the previous video i have already shown you the round one question and this is a round two so that's why uh, you will get more knowledge so let's start i have already explained you like about the optum it's uh, like a uh, healthcare domain company and you can go and check out my previous video right so let's start with the video and discussing the questions uh, my uh, questions i mean uh, interview start with the introductions first of all that uh, second round person was kind of techno managerial and he introduced himself and asked me to introduce myself as well he uh, introduced himself that what uh, exactly he is doing how they are managing the uh, team and what tools on which they are using basically he asked me few questions related to those things as well what technologies have you used so far in your project dotnet core web api have you worked on jenkins ci cd pipeline uh, where uh, your application is hosted uh, i mean what is the, your com contribution in deployment basically have you worked on any cloud platform or not are you a front end or back end guy tell me about your day to day activity so these type of basic questions they have asked then trying to understand that uh, what exactly are you doing and how you are doing uh, maintaining the things in in your day to day activity right so you have to tell your roles and responsibility after that he asked me the notice period and expectation and counter offer those things i explained him now he jumped to the technical discussion technical discussion means like uh, related to our project uh, each technology is one by one depth a deep dive basically we can say so let's start from the beginning and uh, the first question was can you explain the design of api rate limit so he asked me the things uh, api throttling in the microservice which api gateway are you using uh, we have to explain how exactly are you exposing your api endpoint the next question was like a design principle of api uh, how do you authorize your api so these questions are basically from the api uh, authorization of api he asked me few questions related to jwt token uh, what is the purpose of jwt token and how exactly does it work uh there was cross question like rather using the token we can use the send the user id password in the header and we can encrypt we can send it in encryption decryption format and we can validate then what is the need of the jwt and then if you have a good knowledge then you have to explain the need of the jwt token what is the auth server what is the open id connect or tool those things you have to explain if you move to the next section that is a uh, which authentications are you working suppose i have a develop uh, i have developed an api and i want to expose this then how authentication and authorizations uh, we can implement or we can say that how exactly you have implemented in your project this type of questions has been asked like you are using a microservice architecture then what is the best practice mechanism you follow for authorizations so basically uh, he's trying to understand basically the how authorization and authentication has been implemented in web api right the then he moved to logging things logging monitoring in microservice so how exactly you are using and how this is being captured in kibana if suppose you are using a kibana tool then obviously the question comes like how have you implemented it given imp implementation of kibana in the microservice the next question was related to fault tolerance fault on tolerance i mean there is a one microservice which communicates to another one uh, but the another one microservice is not responding then how you are behaving and how your project microservice architecture is behaving circuit break, uh, breaker patterns uh, 
he gave me one example let's say uh, there is a uh, amazon uh, shopping app and the review rating microservice is not working but still it shows the uh, data i mean in, in lower quantity because you don't want to block your customer then which mechanism is being used in the microservice because you know your uh, review and rating is not working then how you are showing the data to the, your customer because you don't want to block the customer right the next question was suppose you have a microservice hello world and you have two instances to handle a heavy user base right one of the instances failed i mean not working how will you get to know that about uh, that right so you have to explain those things that uh, in that situations how you are handling those things your one instance is not working and another is working then how you are handling those things the next questions was related to uh, rest api design culture questions related to like a uh, microservice ecosystem 12 factor principles how is microservice different from api so those things basically has been asked in the round two and round one question i have already told you that i have explained in the previous video if you are new then go and check it out so that's all from my side if you have any questions your suggestion you can comment down below and i can see there are lots of people watching the videos but not subscribing the channel then don't do that please like the content i get motivated and please subscribe the channel so that i can make such videos more and more so that's it and thanks to you to being here thank you so much bye bye